Hey guys, Stellet here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to have a face cam in the corner of your videos. As you can see here, hi guys, and um, so we'll be using screencam.exe. So, um, let me just go to Google, and, uh, and what you want to search is, I'm pretty sure all you have to search is screen... Um, screen cam, a screen cam, screen, no, wait, no, uh, face cam, let's search face cam, and then I want to look for something that says, hmm. if I search screen cam, would it come up, screen cam. I'm pretty sure you, you, know, you search screen cam, then no, let me just let me just show you the uh, the uh, thing here. So if I open, so first you'll get this on when you download it, and I'll show you how to get to the website. So screen if it. It's called ScreenFaceCam.com. I forgot the name. No, no, no. So, okay. Okay. um, the story is, uh, okay. um, is, okay. um, okay, oh yeah, no, no. that's, that's, uh, Keegan, my brother. Anyways, yes. um, and, um, th basically how this got created, I like the story of how this happened, mm -hmm. is a dad was, um, or, or his kid wanted to make Minecraft videos. Hint, hint, I play Minecraft, so that's kind of cool. Anyways, um, and, um, he, but he wanted a screen cam in his videos. He plays, he goes on YouTube, apparently. And he, his dad went, looked on, uh, uh, like, looked for things that were free, but most of them costed money, so he just couldn't do that. But then he realized that he could create programs himself, so he decided to create a program that did, that did that type of thing. So, yeah. Um, and let me open up the thing. I think it's this one. And all you have to do to basically set it up is you need to cam and mic. You select the cam and mic you're using. Uh, I'm using my desktop microphone and Minecraft, I mean Microsoft Live Cam for my uh, cam. And then um, we can do. And then we want to search the recording size and area. Basically, that means where you re want to record on your screen. So basically. You can select default things like that or that, and b basically, um, so you can also expand it on default like this. And expand it to be pretty much your whole screen, and um, and then you just select select full uh, uh, select current window size and position as recording uh, region, and then um. Then you also want to do video quality. I've got it on medium quality since that seemed pretty good quality, not that bad, not that bad quality. You, I mean, if you have a very good computer, I'm sure you could do it on a higher highest quality. Um, I might try higher highest quality on some of my videos, but I'm gonna do keep it on medium quality. It's on medium quality for this video. So, anyways, so and then you want to do options view image. Um, I don't know if this will look a little bit weird, huh? For some reason there's an error. Maybe it's because I'm recording with this software that it can't show up. And for some reason it's black now. That's not supposed to happen. So you would be able to set everything up like this. And uh, there we go. So now um, you would uh, start recording and stop recording. Now if you're wondering, you will have a point in the time when you click start recording that it will um, show up this window. Well, you can cut that part out with various... Uh, uh, um, editors on, on maybe you could you you could probably do that with YouTube. You could do it with Windows Live Movie Maker is what I use. Anyways, and um, also you want to choose choose video file. I didn't know what this means, but basically this is what you want to call it. So choose whatever um, library you want it to be in, and um, then call it whatever you want. Hi or test. I don't know if I can start recording because I'm already recording with the same software. So let's do that. And then start, let's try, no wait. I think it just saved something else that I, uh, test 2. 
because I'm pretty sure I already had something called test. So if I do start recording, unable to start video capture. Is is the selected file open in a video editor? I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm still recording. But um, if I was recording with anything else, this would work, and I would start recording, and I can stop recording by pressing that. And then you would just look in that folder and look for your file. So I hope this helped. This is for free on the website. And I did not get any viruses when I um, got this, uh, this thing, and it's much better than some of those... Um, screen cam recorders like bandy cam because beca and it uh, does your face so that's really cool um I have noticed a bug when when like you're doing something where your mouse disappears the mouse uh, your cursor disappears your the face in the corner also disappears which I find a little bit weird but it's okay and it's not very laggy. Like, if I was using Bandicam right now, it would be extremely laggy and it would take forever for this to open. And no, you cannot have it where you could just use this as a screen cam to make it ha have, like, you don't want it to have face cam. You just want it to be a cool screen cam thing and um, no face cam. Well, unfortunately, you can't do that. There might be an option in the f future for you to, like, turn off face cam and turn it on for people that don't want to show their face on YouTube and just want to be talking and showing the screen and make it be a fast video recording thing. That might be cool, but right for right now, that's not how it is. So, anyways, so, if you liked it, liked it like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!